they say you're not supposed to pick a favorite child, um, but I'm going to kind of violate that, that rule here today and tell you openly that this is the fav- this is my favorite SEO spreadsheet template that I've ever built or worked on. Um, it's called Search Efficiency by Page. And basically what it does is it allows you to pick out um, URL and search query combinations that are either underperforming um, in click-through rate or underperforming in engagement um, in terms of time on site or goal conversion rate or e-commerce conversion rate, any of those metrics. So what it quickly allows you to pick out, okay, are there pages that have a really low click-through rate but have high engagement once people click through to the site? Um, in that, in those cases, you'll want to tweak the search snippet um, to boost the click-through rate. Or are there pages that have a high click-through rate but have low engagement on site? Those are pages that the search snippet's in good shape, but you'll want to work on the actual content to better match it up with the search query that's driving traffic to it. So it's a really, really handy mashup of Search Console data and Google Analytics data that when you put them together, you can look at these combos and see, okay, what search snippets should I change and what content could I work on? Um, So like I said, you have to pull in Search Console data and Google Analytics data to run this template. Um, There's two ways you could do that. The first is in the free version of this template that's on Rank Tank and it's on in the Coding is for Losers template vault, you can pull data using either Blockspring or Supermetrics. Um, those are paid Google Sheets add-ons that you can use to connect to services like Search Console or Analytics. Um, and if you use the free template, you would just have to pay for those one of those add-ons. Um, the version of this template that's in the Rank Tank Pro membership site uh, makes it so that you don't need to use an add-on. It uses custom code to pull in Search Console and Analytics data, so you don't need to use pay for add-ons. But this version of the template is the Rank Tank Pro version of the template, so I'm gonna go through the setup, but the other version has the same roughly setup steps. So once you're in the template itself, and once you've made a copy, the Getting Started tab has all the instructions that you need to get going. Um, so the first step, you'll want to set up the APIs if you're using this Rank Tank Pro version. That'll just involve going into the Google API console, enabling the APIs you want to use, setting up your credentials, all this good stuff. But once you're done with that, then you can go ahead and pull in all of the accounts that you have access to. So you just select Get Accounts. Let me zoom in here so you can see this a little bit. And what this will do is basically populate all of your Google Analytics properties. So let's do Codings for Losers here. And it'll also populate your Search Console sites. So once you select the Google Analytics property that you want to pull for and the Search Console site, um, select your time frame, whether it's 7, 30, or 90 days, and select your engagement metric. I'll just use time on page. Keep it simple here even though probably should do goal conversion rate, but let's just keep it simple. Um, And then we select get search data, and this will pull all of our search console and Google Analytics data into the sheet. And these will pull into hidden tabs. You don't need to necessarily look at the raw data, but if you would like to, um, this will pull into, for example, the SC report tab. And same for GA, it'll pull into the GA report tab. Cool, so we have our data now all pulled in. And basically what happens is this will pull together all on this aggregated data tab. So here I have you know, some each of my URLs, keywords, impressions, click-through rates, and ranks for those. And this formula will pull in the Google Analytics data. And our Google Analytics engagement metric pulls in here. Um, Looks like some of this average time on page data isn't great. So probably would have used goal conversion rate, e-commerce conversion rate. Um, But regardless, that's where your engagement metric will will appear. So what this does, this aggregated tab uses 
a simple query on our search console data and just a view lookup against our against our Google Analytics data to pull all of this all of our URL keyword results together in one place. Um, and then what we can do is on the page improvement ops tab, there's just a couple queries to pull out these opportunities for us. So there's one query here that basically says any above average, um, let's see, above average click through rate, but below average engagements uh, will appear here. So these are opportunities to uh, rework the actual content because the click-through rates are strong, but the actual time on page is, is not quite as strong. It's below average. And then the second set of opportunities um, where we could rework, rework our search template. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see. This query takes um, any below average click-through rates with above average engagement. So if you look at these click-through rates, they're all pretty, um, pretty low. So sub one percent for a lot of these. Um, but the engagement, again, that time on page date is bad. But the engagement is strong on these. If we want to take that as like a max, this must be like some type of max time on page type of setting. But anyways, this this really quickly. Let me format these. So we're looking at percents here. This really quickly gives you a view of what page query combos are maybe ranking highly, maybe getting impressions, but the click-through rates are low or the engagement when people actually get to your site uh, isn't there. So it gives you two doors to kind of act on your, your actual site content and your search snippets. So like I said, this, um, the free version of this template is available in the Coding is for Losers template vault, also available on Rank Tank. Um, and then this pro version of the template that doesn't require Supermetrics or Blockspring or any other add-ons is only available through Rank Tank Pro. So hope you enjoy it. Make a copy and play around with it. Take care.